Hey, and welcome to another one of my labs. Um, I hope to have something a little bit exciting for you today. Um, we're going to be using some of the um, knowledge that we've gained in other labs relating to uh, vSphere infrastructure and combining it with some of the stuff that we've learned from Viata routers and then we're optimizing it to get roughly one gigabit of routing power. This is the setup of the lab. Um, we're going to have three virtual machines. We're going to have this one here, which is going to be a Windows XP um, professional machine. Another one over here. Uh, and then right in the middle, we have Viata. Now, um, that essentially is on one subnet and that is on the other. You have the uh, subnet addresses down there. You then have a VLAN trunk here. Obviously, then the V switch is configured with a port group of trunk. Um, so the the VLAN ID is going to be 4095 or all. Um, it's going to so you equivalently you're essentially going to have two routers there, <coughs> even though it's only going to really be one. And, and this setup is called um, router on a stick in kind of the Cisco world. Um, because the traffic goes in through here and up of um, one of the uh, VLAN interfaces and then back out the other uh, VLAN interface. Uh, once we've got it all set up we're going to run um, iperf on here um, and that's going to enable us to hopefully um, be able to benchmark from here to here. Once we've got those results through, because all of this is sitting on one box, we're going to do some things to optimize it. So we're going to turn on jumbo frames here, 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 and here. Um, we're going to change the um, VM NIC type here and here. And I think that might be about it. And once we've done that, we'll then we'll then bench it again and, and see the difference. If we go over to the vSphere infrastructure. What we have at the moment is, um, for the sake of time, I've already brought in the VMs. Um, but it should be, if you see any of my other labs, um, especially the VM sphere ones within VMware Workstation, um, then you'll be able to see how easy it is just to bring in a VM um, and set it up. Um, this is a um, very uh, basic task, if you like. And if we have a look at the VM itself, you'll see that it's just going to a bog standard network and there's nothing here that's particularly fancy. Um, that particular network there is um, a, a normal vSphere network and the, the VM NIC goes out to a real network. The network that we'll be creating in a minute will, doesn't actually have any physical interfaces bound to it and you'll see that in a second. Um, so they're essentially the same obviously the uh, WXP1 and WXP2 is going to relate to WXP1 and WXP2 this router here is that one there now you see that it's got three NICs at the moment don't necessarily worry about where they're going at the moment um, that's all going to be changed this is actually a revised VM the one currently available for download uh, with VMware is the Alpha 2 this is the final. I'm just waiting for approval at the moment from VMware before um, before you'll be able to download that one. Okay, um, so let's. I think we're pretty much ready to go. Um, let's do some of the vSphere configuration first. So uh, we need a switch here, which we're going to connect our uh, virtual machines to. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's a virtual machine vSwitch. Create the vSwitch. Network label. Now um, this is the port group. So let's do one first. We call this Viata VLAN trunk and 4095. So that changes to all. It said no physical adapters. and then we need two more so 
So let's call this one network one, which is VLAN ten. We're going to make that VLAN ten. And then we need another one. We're going to call this one network 2 and make that VLAN 20. And the VLAN ID is, of course, 20. So that was fairly simple. That's most of um, that done. Now we need to connect our VMs to our V switch. So uh, WXP2 is obviously going to go to network 2, so let's do that. And we want WXP1. We want to go we want to make sure that goes to network 1. And then if we have a look at the Viata appliance Okay, that um, from the the setup of this appliance, by the way, is that is the outside interface. So, the first NIC is your internet interface. The second uh, NIC is uh, ETH1, which will be our VLAN trunk. And there is a third NIC that's designed to go off to a DMZ. So, something like that. But we're not including that in the lab, so it doesn't necessarily matter where it goes to. So we want that one to point outside. This one, remember we want this point here, so that's going to be our trunked interface. So let's change that. And the third one we don't really care about. Note here the uh, adapter type. This is VM, um, VMXNet3. That means it's going to be a 10 gigabit interface, pretty much. Um, as long as you have support within the OS anyway uh, and this one does okay I think we are ready to go uh, it's already powered up so let's go ahead and do some configuration on the Viata box Okay, so it's root and Viata. Uh, I don't think I can type though. So that's the current setup at the moment. And as you can see, ETH0 um, is actually set up from Viata's perspective, it kind of doesn't know anything about the trunk at the moment, so um, we need to um, set it up so it does. Let's start off by deleting the address associated with it. Let's commit that. Um, and then let's set the description. And then we need to set up the virtual interfaces. So it's asking here for the VLAN tag, and we know from the way we set up our uh, vSwitch that we have two VLAN tags that are turning up. We've got VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, so let's do those. Let's set the description on here as well. VLAN 10. And we've got another one that's VLAN 20. Now that's all good, but we also um, would like some addresses. Um, if you remember, VLAN 10 is 192.168.10.1 slash 24. Ah, okay, I need to see that the message that's given me there is that I've got a duplicate address associated with it. And that's mainly because I'm doing this on the wrong interface. <laughs> if you have a look here, can you see that I'm doing it here on ETH0? Uh, I need to be doing it on ETH1. So let's have a look at what I've done so far. Let's see if it'll let me commit that and then show interfaces. So that's what we have at the moment. And as you can see here, I've in fact turned the outside 
network card into what should be the inside network card. Um, so we need to undo that. So let's delete interfaces, eth, eth0, like that, and that should hopefully get rid of those. Let's have a look to see what that's done. So that's got rid of the VLAN interfaces. Let's set up the outside interface with DHCP and let's set the description again to be outside let's commit that and let's see how far we've got okay so that's back to square one let's now make sure we select ETH1 to delete the address on uh, we now need to set the description of that to be VLAN trunk and then we need to set up our VLAN interfaces let's commit that and see what that looks like so far Good. Now, uh, ETH one by itself um, is not going to have any um, network address associated with it. That would be the address for the untagged frames, so frames that weren't in um, the packets, frames that turned up that didn't have a VLAN tag of ten or twenty. Um, in fact, it didn't have any VLAN tag at all. Um, but as you can see from our configuration, which is going to be here, um, there you have no chance.